Welcome back to the Gun Collective. <laughs> Genevieve. Oh my God. <laughs> We're on the road, guys. We are currently at a hotel that's under construction. There's Paul, that's Genevieve's dad. He's here. He's the reloading Felix master. is in there. <laughs> Genevieve's here. All right, so this is the tour to SHOT Show. It is brought to you by Bowers Group. As you can see right there on, what is this thing called? The Pimp Mobile. The Pimp Mobile. We are here, we're driving across country. Paul What's has sacrificed, he has sacrificed his time to come with us, right? It's, it's my pleasure. <laughs> Hang out with John and my daughter. Life yeah. couldn't be any better. It's gonna be a good time. So right now, you guys didn't see day one because there really wasn't anything going on. So we're gonna do uh, a little bit of a catch up. We went through a bunch of highway including a tunnel and then another tunnel and then another tunnel really i don't think i filmed all that experience. yeah it was it was very cool uh we drove through pennsylvania yesterday all the way to right now we are in cincinnati ohio and we're about to go to faxon all right guys we're here at faxon what uh what you don't know is they're actually a machining business so there is a lot i mean look at all the cars in the parking lot there's a lot of people that work here uh, the firearm business is only part of their business. We're going to go in and get checked in and then meet up with a couple of the guys who work here. Let's do it. Okay. Felix, come on, bud. Yeah, yeah, we should be there. The hatch wall? Yeah. You guys are legit with all these hatches. Can you see that on, the, on there? Holy crap. Hey, look, Dad, you're going to again. <laughs> So this is the front half of the manufacturing shop. This is where Faxon Firearms mainly operates. We have two businesses. We have Faxon Firearms that's been around since 2012. Faxon Machining is about 42 years old. So Is it really? Yeah. No wonder this place is massive. Yeah. So we occupy both the same space. We got two buildings and then we actually just bought the building next door. We're adding, adding, adding on to that building um, for the machining business. It's, it's primarily to make Nothing but 1911s. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's not true. This is the engineering office of where a lot of the programmers and engineers sit. Um, it's where they do all the prints, all the models for everything. So, so that's where the out. nerds live? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is not Jay's this office, will but he moved in. My no, office. no, yeah, yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. So much room for activities. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so a lot of like the stories and stuff we've been posting, and even the main posts have all been Dustin. So okay, it's right. kind of been yeah. So just those, trying to is that the new that, stuff? That's all the new the, new. Yeah, that's the new new, the new, new mix in with so, a little bit of can can we show this before yeah, shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Absolutely. Yeah, we can show it before the shot show. All right, yeah. tell me what all this is. So you've seen the lightweight gun before. Yeah, A yeah. couple updates to this. One, we're now doing an integral. This is really round. interesting. So now you don't have to deal with any pinning and welding. It kind of left an ugly mark. Okay. Um, you know, it's just a it's just a better process. So now the barrel and muzzle device are all one piece. So the the core idea there is to be able to take the the gas block on and off or yep. except whatever. Yeah, so this goes into the entire rifle assembly, but we also sell the barrel separately. Right. So for builders who want to do a 14.5, but don't you know don't have a shop that'll pin and weld, or okay. you know people so you who like to tinker like, with stuff and mm -hmm. change hand guards and stuff, if you pin and weld like a traditional size muzzle device on there, you can't change your yeah hand you can't guard do it because you can't pull your barrel nut or gas block back right. off. So the other big update to this is the price. Okay. So uh, new 2020 price is 14.25 retail. Okay, that's um, what was it? Nineteen ninety nine. So that's significant. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, we um, did a we did a lot of work on on costing and getting getting prices. Down I mean, to pull what was that like almost five hundred bucks out of them? Mm. That's significant. Yep. Yeah. So that, as far as we are aware now, is the uh, most affordable ultralight AR on the market. All right. Still what does weigh? Just under five pounds without the without any optics. It's really or really light. <laughs> you can see the profile of that barrel. It's nothing, and that those brakes are always abusive, but they function. 
that one is actually a little bit less abusive because it can't put as much energy to the side. Um, yeah, I guess that it's, is, it's we just had a fun. company range day yesterday where both the machining and firearm employees went out to the range and we have a full auto version of this and that is the most popular gun on the range. Really? All right. Because it doesn't move. Cool. All right. What, move all. what trigger is this? Hyperfire. Okay. Why did you do it? go with hyperfire over everything else because there's um, a lot of stuff available. We've had a good relationship with them over the years. We like their stuff. This is their... It was called the EDT. Now I think they call it the DMR. It's got kind of a unique profile here. I'll it's show got it. an interesting trigger shoe. It's kind of um, like curved and then flat at the bottom. Yeah. Which I like because then you could just lay down. I'm, yeah. I'm a hook kind of guy, like all yeah. the way down. You see that? It's a very good improved trigger. It's not up to the level. It's not like your ultra match type trigger. Well, it's not supposed to be. Exactly. So we wanted to give people a good improvement where they could pick up this gun and not be like, I need to tr change this out immediately because people won't be happy with a mil spec trigger and a fourteen hundred dollar gun, but on the flip side, we didn't. <laughs> well, want it's to good do that you recognize. Yeah, that. It's but good. on the flip side, we didn't want to add something crazy expensive that's right. just going to jack up the price. All right. So if they like it, cool. If you want to upgrade it, you yeah, know, they you will probably get a bad about it. Yeah. Um, so then here we've got the two new PCCs. Okay. Um, that are releasing at Shot Show. So these are part of our first line. Which the first line is all entry level price. Yeah, yeah, stuff. I knew that was a, a new thing. Um, this so, is interesting. This is like different than most of the other releases yeah, I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Um, you see that all right? Mm -hmm. So, so the idea with the first line is to come in at a much better price point. We for... are we are targeting price heavily. Okay. While not sacrificing on the core components. Right, so this feels still, like it's rock solid. It's still Here, our barrel. I'll take the camera for a second, you try this. You're you're into PCCs, right? Mm -hmm. So it's still our barrel, our BCG, our hand guards, our forged receiver sets. So all the core components are nice. Uh, you know, they are good quality components. You just may see some like slightly cheaper um, parts when it comes to like your flash hider or your grip. Okay. The stuff. So the stuff simple. people are gonna swap in. Exactly, anyway. the stuff that is highly personal um that people will end up changing anyway okay so we did that to bring the prices as competitive as possible so these retail in the low 900 range okay um and for a for a pcc with a last round bolt hold open um that oh, okay is pretty it does have that. that's yeah. great so that's very competitive in the market yeah that's great um, also felix you're doing good bud I'm proud of you <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the head tilt. Strap on the side of Felix, just fine. Yeah, easy. All right. So, so then, then we got the got, carbine got version. Carbine version too. So all right. Um, you know, on this one, we went with the the M4 stock A2 grip. Simple. But it's all the all the same components: our upper, lower bolt carrier, hand guard. Um, all good, good parts. Is that uh, price the same? That one, the pistol's priced slightly higher because you got the SBA3 on that. Uh, okay. Um, so Which, by the way, holy crap, did anybody realize when that came out that the SBA-3 was going to be on everything? It's literally on every pistol out there right now. I think that brace has had one of the biggest impacts to the market in probably the last 10 years. Wow. So, Shout out to SB Tactical, yeah, right? Yeah. You want one? I will have to have one of these. That, you've handled that for less than five minutes, <laughs> and you're in. 24. Okay. Ooh, we, that's we doable. Can do that. Kurt doable. said yeah. it's it's happening. That's serial number 24. I want this one. Okay. <laughs> All right. As another part of the first line. So the first line is the umbrella for entry level. Okay. Um, you know, we're targeting price, but we're also still giving quality products. So the 556 five, offerings in the first line, we've got a uh, carbine, carbine and, and a pistol. Same as the PCCs. Um, these retail at a very aggressive price point at 725 and 775. Wow. So the 725, you know, street price will be under $700 for that. Um, same that's that's getting down to where uh, the NP line is. Yeah. yeah. Which is like the, you know, you walk into a gun shop, they you go what's the cheapest they are you have? Yeah. They hand you an NP. Yeah. So this thing feels rock solid yeah. too. Um, so a couple things on this. Still got our barrels, you know, we're we're very well known yeah, yeah. for the barrels. Yeah. Free floated handguard with the QD sockets. Um, our nitrided super finished BCG, so it's a little bit slicker than your traditional BCG that you would find in like a budget offering. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you usually get then, a phosphate one, which yeah. is, just sounds like you're dragging sand exactly. across sand. Yeah. And then the other big thing is our receivers all have tensioning screws. Okay. So, so it's a tighter they're, fit. They're, yeah, it's a tighter fit. Okay. You can, 
you can tighten it down as much as much I'm, as I'm also electric. noticing guys like they they even went and put the tabs mm -hmm. on the handguard just to, like these these are little things that a lot of companies don't do and that's like uh just to help it stay tight and uh, not rotate and all that sort of thing we got the t marks all the way down mm -hmm. This is this is legit. Yep. You said it's like seven hundred bucks seven, street price. Seven twenty five is MSRP. Yeah, uh, six easy on the easy price. in the six hundreds. Yep. Shoot. Yep. Dude, so that's that's great. That's really good value. The other big thing we're doing with this that a lot of consumers won't realize it's more on the dealer side of things. Okay. We have map pricing. Okay. On everything, which for the dealer uh, side of the business, what people don't realize happens a lot of times is these big online shops buy so many they get special pricing and then what happens for a dealer is they a customer comes in and goes i see so and so gun shop right on online is selling for this price and then the dealer logs under their distributor and goes that's that's below my cost right i can't I, do that know, how how can you even do that so we're focusing a lot on the independent retailers and trying to bring them a good offering um that they're not going to get slaughtered by online competition sure sure I'll show you guys this it's like laser engraving here that's or a little etching. Extra, yeah that's a little extra touch that you know you don't typically find something like that on a uh on a price point conscious right, right. and this this actually looks nice a lot of yeah. times the logo is just the a lot of some, times some of the stuff the they machine, put on these yeah a lot of times they're done in the machine um because it's quicker uh but with laser you can get a bit a little bit more artistic a little bit more detailed so breathing so a little I, bit more life back i think into this the is interesting Yep. The A-Rack has been around for what, like? Seven years. Seven years, guys. This this platform is super interesting. Uh, it's piston driven, but everything is contained in the upper, so you could buy this upper and just slap it on any lower out there, and it runs like a champ. Did yep. they do a meltdown on one of these? Uh, they haven't done a meltdown on one of those. What was it on? They did a meltdown, with, uh, Eric and Chad did a meltdown with something you guys uh, So one of, was it a barrel? they used our barrel in their first ever meltdown okay. video, okay. which they didn't even tell us they were doing a meltdown, so they picked a terrible barrel for it, <laughs> but it still went 800 rounds. So. Hey, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> All um, right. Felix, so, are you all right, bud? He so, misses you. He misses me? Yeah. Come here. Ahead, Felix. Hi, Daddy. Come here. Come here, bud. I know. I know. I, I know. <laughs> I know. You want one? Sarge is going to be jealous. He is. <laughs> Stay down, bud. I'm going to get home, and my shepherd is going to sit there. He's just going to look at me like, what were you doing today? <laughs> I think Felix wants a gun. <laughs> Felix, You're unfaithful. Yeah, I know. So tell, tell me about this. So... So the A-Rack line, um, we're breathing a little bit more life into it going into 2020. Side charge, guys. So previously we only had rifle versions available. Now we're going to be doing pistols. They're going to be a little bit more off the shelf. Previously okay. they were all pretty much custom order. Okay. Um, so these are going to be stocked and inventoried and ready to go. So when someone wants one of the two standard configurations, either in 556 or 76239, they will be readily available. Okay. Um, so that what's, was a, what's this uh, going to uh, sell? Retail on that is seventeen ninety nine. Okay. So you still get all the features of swappable barrels, ambi ejection. So if you're a lefty, you can uh, flip your bolt around, eject out of the left side. Doesn't use a traditional buffer or buffer spring. So if you want to throw a law folder or something on there, you yeah, can you, fire you, it folded if you really want to. Thug life. Thug life. For all that clandestine yeah. work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know you got to do that in the suburbs. Yeah. Stuff gets rowdy. <laughs> Funny thing, actually, I like um, that, man. people like laugh about it, but actually this year when I was deer hunting, I had a law folder on my hunting rifle. Okay. And where I was arranged in the blind, if I had a chance to take, I didn't get a chance to take a shot, but I was almost going to have, I was almost going to have to fire folded. Did you have nods on? No. I'm, I'm disappointed in you. We got, we also got the handguns. Are there any changes to these? Um, two, two changes. Okay. Uh, we're, we're change for each model is price. Okay. So, previously we had fourteen ninety nine on the Hellfire. Yeah. It's now eleven eighty nine. Oh wow! Wow. Um, you guys really did work hard on that. Yeah. Good yeah. lord. So that's been a key thing for and us that, going. That into was the year. that was something that we we talked about in our review of these things because they're great guns, mm -hmm. but you're you're working to bring more value. Yep. All yep. right. So you said eleven eighty nine. Eleven eighty nine from fourteen ninety nine. Yep. Whew. And then the uh, Patriot is ten forty nine. Awesome. So uh, street price on the Patriot especially will be just under a grand wow so and now we've really hit that price point where 
I don't think you will be able to buy a factory Glock, do the modifications, and be anywhere close to these prices. So, so what you've done is meet all the, like, because people were commenting. They were saying, mm -hmm. guys, I could go do this myself. And yeah. you're like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Not, not so much anymore. Yeah. I mean, okay. if you were, you know, if someone really wanted to build and use the lowest price point options, you could always but build something But this is not cheaper. a lowest price point exactly. option. That's not what this exactly. is. Exactly. I mean... So, so if you bought your factory Glock and had it slide milled, had the grip stippled, changed your sights, barrel, trigger, all that stuff, you're going to be way over the MSRP on this. Right. Cool. All right. Cool. That's rad. Thank you for showing us. Yeah. That. Before Shot Show. <laughs> and a this, special. Honestly, we were we were like. You know what? I don't know what we're going to do on our way west. We're yeah. just like, we're just going to see who's around and yeah. figure it out. What is this? So this is, this is going to be in the booth at shop. One of our dealers up in Dayton has had this specific rifle. We just got it back from them. Has had it on the range for over a year. Okay. This gun has... 25,000 plus rounds. Sir. Good. Really? As, as, it doesn't, like, yeah. Look, you would you would assume this would be all chewed up. There's a little, you can yeah. see that it's been yeah. shot, but 25K, I don't yep. think so. Yep. And this is semi? Yeah, that's just semi. It's been rented a couple hundred times over, over the last year. Let's try that trigger out. Yeah. Dude, that's good to go. Yeah. Like how how did you say that that was okay to put in yeah. rifles? Well, guys are going to swap it out anyway, so you put filler in there? Yeah, yeah. Whose grip is that? Who's that is uh, Seekins. Okay. All right. So that'll be that'll be on display in the booth. We will also have a Patriot pistol in the booth that we did all of our testing with. Okay. That has over fifteen thousand rounds through it. Goodness. Going through like the mid spec round count testing. <laughs> Felix is shaking it out. <laughs> so when when you did all those fifteen thousand rounds, did anything break? Did you have to replace anything? Didn't replace anything. Uh, we did the normal maintenance interval on the extractor spring. Okay. Yeah, I knew um, I knew some stuff has a tendency. So to I think we did that at about seven thousand rounds. Okay. Um, which actually I think is above the, the the Glock stated interval. But so nothing broke on it. Um, the military standard is an average of less than one failure per thousand rounds, and I think we had. Six failures over 15,000. Wow. Yeah, so we're bringing a couple guns that have just had some rounds thrown to show. You know, yeah, yeah, stuff like, hey, our shot. stuff our stuff yeah. can handle it. Are you, are you taking my guns away? <laughs> this is unacceptable. I'm giving them to your dog. Oh. <laughs> Here, let's just pile them up. Felix. Here, Felix. Go ahead, bud. Right there. <laughs> He's like, I don't know about that, I dad. think we could have Felix. maybe dual pistol versions of this. On each side. Oh, but okay. Balance, battle dog for balance. So yeah, battle dog. Yeah. He's like, why is it? They stare at me. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> It's taking so <laughs> <laughs> It's taking so oh. there. Every Sunday and Monday. Yeah. Okay. So we got to get out there. We have the uh, supplier showcase, too. That sounds awful. So that's where. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all day, Monday, Tuesday. Felix, you, do you like your the, patches? The OEM, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how you guys stomach that You are such a good kind of boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, oh no, no. my threshold, I think. Felix. <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> This is basically gun the gun room. <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, the gun room actually used to be a storage room for fax and machining. Okay. So when the firearm business started, we took it over, moved everything out. Now actually we're, we're basically overflowing. All right. So this is where everything gets built. It's also where we keep all of our finished inventory. Okay. So orders get packed up. So we got a big, big holiday order going, or big, uh, big New Year order going out. Optics Planet, I'm stealing your stuff. <laughs> Just, uh, I should have. Oh, that's heavy. I should have brought some uh, labels and stuck them on yeah. some of these boxes. Just <laughs> that's, that's mine. That's, uh, <laughs> okay. This is how we're shopping. <laughs> that must be a nightmare. 
It's a lot. It's a lot. And when you start, when you grow as rapidly as we have, there's a lot of growing pains and things you learn. <laughs> You know, like you gotta fix this, you know, inventory things inventory. things that were things that were good from an operation standpoint a year ago need to be updated because now we've grown past it. Right. <coughs> so but this is how much Yeah, I think that was This is their new gun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's chambered in uh, buffer tube. Yeah. Is that the is that the Faxon Nerf pistol? Is yeah. that what that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Alright. So a lot of Finished guns being built up here, assembly area. All right. Um, stuff built in progress. So you just like all the, I'm just gonna retake one of these. Yeah. Show people. So there you go. Like all these boxes are just. It's this all inventory. Yep. Like this is a uh, Glock 17. And then up here, this is a Glock 19, gold, all gold everything. Is that the phrase, right? Yeah. I love gold. This is where John Wick lives. Yeah. So that's the, that's the demo cage. That's, you know, when we have rain stays or anything, we go I'll, in there. I'll be honest with you. I've been thinking about getting a cage like this yeah. just to keep things easier. Um, yeah. so you don't, you yeah. don't have to worry as much. Yep. So... And yeah, then, we, then we got a separate safe for NFA stuff. Okay. Machine guns and all that. Got them machine guns. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 So this is actually pretty pretty bare because a lot of stuff went out the shot. Okay. So the whole all our we shipped out three big crates yesterday or last week. Why does uh, everybody have it? Like every gun company I've ever seen has an M1A. Oh, at one point you were doing M1A. Uh, so, for somebody? Yeah, for someone, and then uh, and then we had some that we were selling. But was, you know, M1 mark is very different than the Air 15 mark. Yeah, no so, kidding. Yeah, not not many guys just buy them just to throw them down. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is all rifle barrels. All right, I'm gonna grab a rando. Let's see what's in this one. That's a BCG bin. Okay. Six five Grendel. What's different about the Grendel one? It's oh, it's a yeah, seven six two thirty nine. So uh, bolt face, right? It's a but the depth, the bolt face depth is different. Around seven six two thirty nine and six five. Grendel. Thanks so. to uh, Bill Alexander for that. <coughs> yep, yep. Shout, so, shout out Bill Alexander. <laughs> so we uh, we offer bolts and bolt carriers for every caliber that we have available. Goodness gracious! So we also add us we offer a service. So if someone buys from us for ten bucks, if they buy a barrel and a BCG for ten bucks, we will. Headspace that bolt, check it with that barrel, just oh. just as a triple check, um, and then we it's actually laser engrave that. matching numbers on them. So we do we headspace every barrel, every barrel and bolt individually. But that that service is basically a triple check to go. Okay. This bolt is good with this barrel. Sure, that's cool. So it's a little something we offer if somebody buys from us. Yeah, I like that. One and eight mid blank SOCOM profile. So shipping desk. This is David. That's actually uh, Bob Fax. Bob Fax and son. That's his old son. Like? <laughs> so he's actually in. He's shipping. Then he's got to go to school. He's in, in college at University of Cincinnati. What are you studying? Okay. Are you going to come here afterwards? Likely. Are you? Maybe. He's a nice guy. He wants. He wants to make sure. That's all right. We, Genevieve's a nice person. Falls are the knives. Facts and knives. Yeah, what's up yeah, with that? Yeah. Start it. Working on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So can you talk me through, like, do we know what is being made? Yeah, so I can give you kind of general run yeah, yeah, So yeah. left to right over okay, on the... Okay, so over Mia. Far left, we've got where we rifle, drill ream and rifle barrels. Okay. All of our barrels are rifled in-house. Okay. Um, there's not that many people in the country who can say that. Right. <clears throat> so everything comes in from bar stock. That's why you've got the big cranes running along because we've got to lift bundles of steel. Sure. Um, we've got in-house mag particle ins inspection. Really? Okay. Yep. So we have level three inspection over there. Um, up here is our lathes. So that's where all the profiling and chambering happens. Okay. Up front here where you see Ben working. These are machines that make our barrel extensions. That's Ben right there? Yeah, that's Ben. Hi, Ben. He's not looking. So, Ben. Ben's working ben, right now. No, I'm going to try to distract him <laughs> from his job. 
So, so a lot of people don't even realize that AR-15 barrels are two pieces. Uh, they don't realize that the extension yeah, is threaded yeah. on. So all of those are made in house. The right behind it, where you see the scissor lift sitting, we actually are bringing in a new machine for pistol barrel manufacturing. Uh, the machine behind it was just added two months ago. Um, okay, so the the one with the the blue was yep. just added. You're so saying that literally just got delivered. Okay, so that's Friday. the new one, and then we've got a part of it over here, yep. still wrapped up. Yep, kind of like right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Yep. So new new machines, and then the whole right side is our mill cells. So that's where all the milling is done. Okay. Um, pistol barrels, OEM work, uh, receivers, any anything that goes into a mill is done okay. over there. All right. Hey, my name is Jay Wilson. I'm the director of product management. Hey, I'm gonna hold it down here at normal people height. No, guys. <laughs> Joe Yogaro, chief operating officer. C O O. You didn't. You didn't celebrate yeah. that. You didn't do it. Hey, I'm Kurt Staubach. I'm the uh, director of marketing. Pat Murphy, director of sales. One more time. <laughs> Pat took us on a tour of Faxon machining. Yep. And firearms, boys and girls, they do some amazing things here. <laughs> this place is incredible. Uh, they've got multiple buildings. You can see one right back there. And uh, we're gonna get back on the road. I think we're gonna leave Cincinnati yeah. and head to uh, St. Louis, probably. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you out there. See you soon. Isn't this your home state? Were you born in Indiana? Yes, I was born in Indiana. Evan, Evans, near Evansville, Indiana. Evansville, Indiana. Yeah. You ever, you ever think about moving back here? No, I haven't. <laughs> Screw you, Indiana. <laughs> well, if they fix the roads in Indianapolis, I might consider coming back. You mean Fallujah? Yeah. We went there for NRA last year, and it was so bad. It right? was incredible. The, the roads were the worst roads I've ever experienced in any city. I thought Philadelphia was bad. In, in, Indianapolis hasn't been. All right, so something awesome just happened. Genevieve's going to explain it, even though she's exhausted. No. No. All right, so <laughs> we just had this guy kind of, uh, I don't know, stick it with us for a little bit, right? Right. Yeah, we, we weren't really sure what was going on. Well, he pulls up next to the car. His windows are totally tinted out. Like, a, I don't know, it was like a Honda Accord or something. And the, I see the window down. I'm looking at it out the driver's side, and the window goes down. I'm like, what is this guy about? Are we, are we about to get shot? <laughs> like, what's, what's happening? Well, he points at the side of the car at the gun collected Bowers Group magnet, points at me, and then gives a big thumbs up and a huge smile, and he puts the window up and drives off. That was pretty cool. I'm yeah. really upset I was sleeping. Yeah. It was, I, I'm, I'm guessing that dude's a fan of TGC, which is pretty rad. That's neat. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's yeah. really cool. Especially just to be in the middle of nowhere. And all this happened at 80 miles an hour. <laughs> we are doing the speed limit. We are, we are absolutely right. a totally normal thing. Also, shout out to Felix for my Harry Potter mark. You're a wizard, Harry. That's cool. Oh, it's not that bad. It's oh, it's totally bad. It's horrible. It was neat because everybody's falling asleep, so that was something exciting that happened, which yeah. is great. <laughs> uh, Southern Southern Illinois looks a lot like Southern Indiana. And Kansas. This is what Kansas looks like? I've never well, been out there. it's flat and barren, so, you know. <laughs> Yay! Kansas is a little drier. Yeah. So you got that going for it. <laughs> and our plan is to count as many tumbleweeds as we can as we drive through Kansas. Kansas as they blow across the highway. How's anybody going to know if we're right? I don't know. They just know how many we saw. I'm going to keep a detailed notebook of what tumbleweeds look like what, and then we can compare how many different tumbleweeds we've seen. And that, no, I'm kidding. That's not really terrible. All right. Back to driving. There's a lot of Every nothing day. out here. I was there. OMG. So we have driven almost a thousand miles. We are currently in Columbia, Missouri from Eastern Pennsylvania. It was two days of driving. We're trying to bank time for the Western part. We want to spend some time in the Rockies, the Rocky Mountains. Genevieve is on the bed playing with the dog, doing well. They're having fun. Paul is out getting us some bourbon and some rum because we want to relax tonight. But guys, uh, stay tuned. Shout out to Bowers again. Check out their new War Dog Suppressor. 
That thing is freaking cool. It's really compact and it's super affordable oh. for what it is. Right, good boy. Felix is gonna be on the box, actually, I believe. I think so. Which is kind of cool. Shout out to Bowers again. Check them out, Bowers Group. Search them everywhere. They're on social media. And stay tuned, more videos coming. I believe, baby, where are we going tomorrow? Kansas? No, we're not going to, what's the place we're going first? <laughs> CMMG. Hey, there we go. All right, we'll see you guys at CMMG.